Okay, well, we'll head back here. I like it, I didn't even have to tell her to go there. She just kind of knew. child. I see you. Wake up, Ray. Hello, Sinatra. I'm Brian. Do you remember me? Brian. Brian Pasternak. How is, is something wrong with you? Go away. Go away and leave me now. I'm not leaving. Oh. That's so sweet. <laughs> hey, let go of me now. We're not dating or anything. I I'm sorry. It's just a relief to see you again, Snatra. Wait, do you know who I am? My name is Pasternak. Of course I know who you are, stupid. It's not called me Snatra. It's what they called my father. My name is Bray. Ah, okay. I'm a little confused. Yeah, it's confusing for me also. I think someone copied my memory and stored it in this robot. So, I mean, you're the girl in the picture now, the daughter of the family? Not only that, I also have access to this internet records. That's why I recognize you. Hey, you can jump! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, it feels good to be out again. I'm free at last. Also with the long face. I have seen the witch. She's taken all my friends. Hey, wait. Not all of them. Stop whining and let's go. Let's go where to? Sell this whole thing once and for all. Let's go talk to Domori. You mean, the witch? Stop calling her that. She's no witch. She's just like you're... Just like you're not a hunter. But, do you know where she is? Of course. She's my sister. She'll be in her room, as usual. Ready to go see her? I guess. Let's get this over with. Wow. What? You look different, Brian. Follow me. Oh, we're going to floor two, was it? It's this way. Follow me. Oh, man, these. Man, it's kind of creepy that these guys just kind of stop for her. Wait, right, because this door was locked before. So, the witch is on the second floor? It's where my house is. Well, where it was. All oh, right, on these boarded floors. All right. What are all these planks doing here? Did you live here? Yeah, I think so. Though it's a little changed. <laughs> Just a little? <laughs> Is something wrong? I don't know. Brian, you wait here. I think I'd better go talk to Domery alone first. 
Okay, all right, as you wish. So first of the Sintra family. I think it's charred and black and it's most burnt. Hmm. Yeah, there's also a border thing off here. It's well sealed. It's possible to get through here. Well, it's full of paper with symbols on it. Right. I'm sure we came through here, but now there's only a wall. Oh, that's creepy, because I went back to see if I could maybe save before I went in here, but... Okay, looks like uh, we only got one way to go. Sorry about barging in. Hooray. Are you good? It rains of a big bonfire. Oh, the walls burn just like the rest of the room. Symbol of a snake. Same one that appears on the witch's paper. Oh, uh, we just went through. Oh, thank god, there's a printer right here. Okay, well, we're safe here. Oh, got another witch's paper just in case. Oh, water. Um, the end of the road. Where could Ray be? Unless... Uh, I guess I could get in the water, even though I hate swimming. Should I jump in? Um, sure. Maybe I could just water in a little, maybe knee deep, and take a quick look. It's definitely not knee deep. Oh, got some batteries from that. What's coming out of it? the pipes? I don't need it to get in here. How did the contract with me to breathe underwater? Oh, right. I got that. Okay. Luckily, I got that then. And I got a couple of pencils. Okay, let's use some glow sticks. A candy bar. I see something up over there. Okay, I guess I can't really go that way. Got a soda. Got, I'm getting like a lot of uh, health stuff. Okay, it's empty. Nothing else down there. Yeah, I want to grab as many items as I can because I know it's going to be one hell of a boss fight. Ow. God, I had a feeling I needed to avoid that. Here, got a couple of glue sticks. Okay, just avoid that. Candy bar, ow. Ooh, just narrowly avoided that. I got a pencil for mine. Don't like that float towards it. 
Okay, there we go. There we go, get rid of that. Oh, got a candy bar. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. Just kind of floating around and hoping I find a heap of secrets, maybe. Definitely haven't been down this area. Oh, God, I don't like that you guys are kind of now sneakily hidden. Of course, that one's empty. Case here. Oh, a uh, video. I will take that. Ow. Healed up and immediately got fucking hit. is that? Okay, that's a healing thing. Interesting. But I'm assuming we're going down this way. Yep. Ugh. Why did I come in here? This is an endless labyrinth. I'm sure, Ray is perfectly fine, and I'm a fool for throwing myself in the water. Best thing is for me to turn around and go back the way I came in. Ryan. Okay, Kate, is that you? Yeah, I think it might be the witch. Um tricking us. Sounds something like she would do. The fuck is that? It's definitely not Kate. Uh, I don't like where this is going. Ow. Where am I? Is this the office? No, it's not possible. Head hurts. Why do I have a bandage? What the fuck is going on? A candy bar. A cup of coffee. Oh great, you guys again. Battery. Nothing interesting. Battery. Candy bar. Avoid them. Oh, we've got two slices of cheese. Got a couple of pencils. Oh, ow. Where did the creature bite you? be able to hear it oh, for fuck's sake and man I literally cannot hear anything anymore <laughs> like the all the sound is gone god damn it got cheese sandwich okay I should have gone with something else because now I can't fucking hear shit 
Just gonna be annoying. Got a cup of coffee. Oh, and oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go with Mel. I'm being a oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna make me not speak anymore. Not fucking. God damn it. Oh, and I noticed that the bandages stopped. Uh, got another slice of bread, although that's not going to be any use to me. God damn it. Ooh, code. Ha, huh, okay. Uh, I think I may have booked the game. <laughs> because, um, I'm assuming I was supposed to die there, but, um, yeah, I can't really do anything. Oops. <laughs> Okay, I was hoping I could maybe save. Yeah, um... don't want to touch any of these things, so I don't know how many of these are actually going to hurt me. I need to find another pencil though. Coffee doesn't really help me. God damn it. Okay, um. What if we do your nose? I'm gonna be able to hold your breath for so long now. Okay, well, um. Got some cheese. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, well, um. But eyes. Oh. Oh, great. Well. Not too bad. Oh, a couple of pencils. Yes, that's exactly what I needed. Oh, can you go away? Thank you. No, I could. Why are there so many of you? No, can you go away? See, I want to get rid of this mine here. There we go. Got the next number. Missing a button. Okay. Oh wait, we got this. That moves that. Does it? Not moving. Another cubicle is blocking its way. Okay, so I need to find a way to move that. Got it. Okay. Oh no. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the ears then. Okay. Um, where's the next button? It's over this way. Ha, here we go. Okay, that should hopefully move that. Yep, there we go. Move that and then we'll go back up again. Okay, there we go. Move that. Aha! Got a briefcase. Try and move around. I hate that it's so quiet now. Okay, number six. Still so got four more numbers to find. I have no idea where they are. Alright, got another thing coming after me. I do need to lose any more of my senses.
Ah, there we go. Okay, three bells. Knew there had to be a reason we could use them. Okay, we just need to find one more. Oh, wait, we can go in the elevator? I'm guessing this is where we probably... Oh, hi. Not the way out, Brian. Right behind this wall. If I were you, I'd get out the elevator as soon as possible. Stop running away, aren't you a hunter? Go out there and find five of those elusive white parasites. Those parasites are the ones infecting the whole company. Okay, well, we found a lot of them. Oh, that just <laughs> immediately appeared. Ah, oh, goddamn, I got friggin'. Oh, we need a hand, so let's just get rid of our mouth, I guess. Oh my god, this is annoying. God, there's two of them right there. Okay, that's really annoying. Go away! I still haven't found this last paper. I don't know where it is. Oh no, I'm about to lose my last one. Eh. Leave me alone! Oh. Well, uh, there goes my hands. Rip. I won't be able to pick up anything anymore. Yep, well, rip. My son, my son, what have you become? Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, I can't really do anything now with that. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, i become a little worm! A good achievement for as well. Eh. Kind of annoying. <laughs> so many worms are wiggling around. Why are there so many? It was hard to tell which one I am. Oh, Sartre. Yeah, help me. Help me. Come here. Yeah, Brian. Brian. Oh, wait, I got sound back. Oh my god, thank Christ. Oh, Oh, it's nice to have sound back. So nice. Are you okay? You're close to the exit. Did you run out of air? No, I don't know. I was, I was trapped. It's hard to explain. It was like being kept prisoner in a nightmare. Thought that, that, easy. I understand you better than anyone, Brian. Now you're free. The girl. What? What does that mean? Huh. What's my body doing here? There. Is that you? It's impossible. I could say that I'm buried in the mausoleum with my parents. Well, we went there and your body was not there, so... Wait a second, that's not true. What? I used to get into the cemetery and your grave was empty. This isn't just your body. Dalmarie's inside it. Can we just like cut that thing off? <laughs> Goddamn monster. Knew you were behind all this. Good to see you too. Thank you, Brian. Without you, this reunion would not have been possible. Stop messing around and let Domery go. He doesn't belong to you. Funny you should say that. You're the people who brought her like she was an animal. Mind you that I've been with her for thousands of years. I'm only her true friend. Well, her only true friend. 
Ain't that your friend? <laughs> it is an ornament. Worthless trinket. I'm a sister, you understand? Her sister. <laughs> Her sister. She says, you're so naive. Stop hiding and explain to me why Domery has my body. So much time has passed since then. I don't remember. Things have changed a lot around here. Oh, giant snake! I see how well you've done. How fat you're getting. Do you have fun crafting everything around you? You don't know how much. Now, I only have one last thing left to break. Let's see what Domery thinks of this when I wake her up. Don't you dare go near her. Never more. Brian! Brian! Okay, um, wake her up. How? Wake up, Domery! Okay, well, I guess we're doing this. Okay, jumping onto the back of the snake. And can I? Come on, make it. There we go. Don't worry, wake up. How can I wake her up? Um, sure, we have something in our inventory. What's this? Okay, not our lights. Can I click the right button? A knife. Knife is broken. <laughs> God damn it. The bells. Wake her up. You finally get to see her. Hey little sister, I can't stay and play with you today. Some of my friends are coming to the pool and... Don't look at like me like that, okay? Honestly, I'm sick of being stuck in here playing with dolls. I don't care if daddy gets angry. I'm not a child anymore. Oh, poor Domery. Oh, there's a snake. Ma'am. She cry breaks my heart. Why does someone so innocent have to suffer like this over and over again? And in the end, as usual, there's just us two left. Don't be that way, ma'am. I just want you to comfort you. I want to comfort you. If you want that girl to be your friend, so badly, I know a way you can make it forever. You just have to use your own powers, ma'am. I'm sorry, little sister. I'm an idiot. I didn't know that I was hurting your feelings. Wait a second, but then... Family never burned the witch, so they burned you, Ray? Wait, what? Doesn't matter anymore, Brian. One thing is that we're both together again. That is 
It will never happen again. Oh, so wait, so they switched bodies? Oh yeah, because right, Domery isn't her body. Oh my god, they're so fucked. They burnt... They burned the wrong daughter. <laughs> god, that's fucked. No, it doesn't matter. There's still something important left to do. What do you mean? Put things in their place and with Domery's help, maybe we can do it. Back to Hugo. Pasenek, you still here? Been thinking about what you told me before. I think I know what's wrong with you. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? A coward, Hugo. Oh, really? Me? And what are you then? I'm not. <laughs> I have no problem admitting that something scares me, or that I can't do it. I'm not hiding behind a mask. I trust others, and they help me achieve everything that seems impossible. Whatever you say, Brian, you had the power of friendship. But what have you got out of it? I am the king of the world. What about you? Um, I've dealt with the witch. What? Congratulations! Now terminate your contract and you'll get the 20,000 credit bonus immediately. Wait. First I want you to meet a friend of mine. More like a couple of friends. Hi oh, Hugo, I've been looking forward to meeting you. This is Ray Sintra, the heiress of the family. According to the company's bylaws, she has the right to be the CEO of the Sintra Corp. What are you talking about? That's impossible. You're not going to get in my way, Brian. That girl disappeared a long time ago. If this were really her, she'd be a lot older. How do you intend to prove it? Well... Hey, you, get down from there. <laughs> you see that? The company recognizes me. It's all mine now, Mr. Frog. It's some kind of spell. Sorry, Hugo, but it's true. <laughs> Wait, 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 we can make a deal. What are you talking about? What kind of deal? Well, we could... There's no deal. There is no deal. <laughs> Fired. Croak, croak, croak. Fired. Uh-oh. You're not going to burst a blood vessel, are you? <laughs> she is the witch. Oh, frick. The dagger. She's the witch. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. Man, that was a fucking punch and a half. And he definitely fucking deserved it too. Not the witch, stupid. But my sister sure is. Well, now that he's been dealt with, well, it's finally over. In my dismissal letter, I can leave this madhouse and go home. Parents won't believe everything that's happened to me. Yes, uh, definitely been one hell of a ride. Well, I guess we leave. Man, what a fucking day. <laughs> Still can't get over that. All that shit happened in one single day. Sunlight. 
God, never think I'd ever see that again. And the outside world. My God. Nice to not be stuck in that office again. Oh, and that's the end. And that was kind of a nice ending, but I don't want to leave it there, because I know there are definitely more endings to this, and I want to fucking find them and find out what's going on, because... Oh my god, this game is so fucking good. <laughs> like, I love the story and the lore and with the characters and just everything about it. It's so fucking good. And I want more. He's finally smiling. It's cute. Oh, we got an extra scene. Hey, this bathroom smells like ass, doesn't it? I think I know what's causing it. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Hey, you scum! Wait, you go? Yeah, you. Let's say you wash up and change your clothes once in a while. You stink. <laughs> Found 30 credits. Hugo. Oh. Oh. I get it. Holy oh, shit. So it was just a lonely cleaning boy and then... Oh, fuck me. Okay, well, we found out about that about Hugo. Well, that was interesting. Okay, we also did have, yeah, mum and dad. We didn't get to see this one. Not all the water in the world extinguished the flames of our conscience. Yeah, that was that one. Yeah, freaking weird. Oh, here we go. We got another VHS tape. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah quickly do all this first because um, a few of the yeah, VHS tapes uh, didn't pop up, so. Yeah, hold on, I will be back. Okay, there we go. We should be able to get into here. Oh, shortcut. I got a achievement for that. Okay, and then, yeah, this goes, aha, here we go. Okay, here we couldn't quite get into there, but now we'll switch off our light. Okay, because yeah, we got a few things to look at. out of fucking garden. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> probably should have shot her in the first place. <laughs> okay, I actually like that one a lot. Okay, next is office party.
Okay, I didn't get that one. <laughs> okay, now we had one more, which is this one we just found. Mr. Fileto. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Was even that one. Uh, okay, that was probably the weirdest one we got so far. <laughs> okay, well that was all the VHS tapes I got for now. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, that was a heart attack and a half. Ugh, I hate that guy. You won't be getting any of these roaming around. Okay, so apparently for this ending, I gotta go through and save all these friends. So, yeah. I mean, I don't technically have to, I only just need to say Kate, but I wanna go through and save them anyway. But apparently, this one is Irina. Huh, yeah, there we go. Okay, we got that person. Now to go find the others. Ah, here we go. Next one is this one because uh, using the metallic key card on here. Okay. Okay, all right. I need to use the uh, knife on you. <clears throat> Who am I? And apparently, you uh, are you know. you. Yay. Okay, just for a quick achievement, I can put in a stand a little bit closer. I can use this one here, apparently. <laughs> Look in the mirror, the silhouette of the snake looks like a 2 instead of an S. Now I look like the devil. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit ominous. <laughs> yeah, well, my soul now belongs to the devil. So, rip. God damn it, I was tabbed out, piece of shit. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so yeah, the next one was down here. Damn it. Okay, just let me do this. They don't seem to be attacking me for whatever reason. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this next one is Jenna. Oh my god, they're not fucking... Oh my fucking god, I was pressing the wrong buttons. God, of course they decided to fucking attack me now. Ah, here's the other one. Okay, yeah, there's one in four seven here. Okay, so we need to do... Use that. Okay, yeah, you are murder. <sighs> Who's revenge? I've seen her. Whom? The witch. Sorry, kid. You want some cheese? It always helps me. Oh, yay, thanks. 
Gonna eat bread to go with that. What are you gonna do now? I know, I'm lost. Why? It's like I can't do anything anymore. I thought I found the solution to the problem and suddenly it all fell apart. Everything's broken. If something is broken, there is a very simple solution. What? You fix it. There's a way to fix everything. If you know what's broken, you got half the problem solved, no? Yeah, I guess so, but where can you fix it? Wait. IT. I'm sure Doshi can fix an Sinatra. Thank you, Mr. Goblin. You're a genius. <laughs> Is there. Uh, I think I may have soft locked myself because I can't get to this last one. <laughs> or at least this one because there's no other way around because I can't go through uh, the thing normally. She has that one single bug <laughs> because. <laughs> I got through, I got through. Can you leave me alone? Please. Okay, finally I can actually get to her. Okay, I thought uh, for sure I wasn't be able to gonna get it, but guy is in here. Okay, need to use the knife. Can I? God, I had to move slightly closer. Who am I? You are Tony. Cause Kate is uh inaccessible at a moment until we go through some more story moments. Okay, I got a dagger. I had to hide. I can't let Hugo see me with it. Where is it? Okay, I'm just gonna wait until he goes, because I need to get back out that door. But yeah, apparently we need to get this dagger so we can get an extra scene. Really hiding down there. <clears throat> okay, yeah, he's going around in circles. Ah, he's fucking boing boing. <clears throat> okay, yeah, go around. Ooh, that was close. Okay, now we just need to wait. Get the fuck out of here. Ha! I have succeeded! I got achievement for it too. I was so busy waiting for it to load here, I didn't realize the freaking light was off. Oops. <laughs> right, I keep forgetting I need to do that. 
I'm been so busy freaking roaming around trying to save my friends that yeah. I forgot that I needed to uh save her. I just realized <laughs> I said dot 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 just like the other guy did when he spewed out the blood and talked about the dot matrix <laughs> and I just realized I got that joke. <laughs> oh yeah I got the Athemi Dagger Hugo co-worker had it. Give it to me. Dagger is dangerous. Not letting you near my sister with this. Oh come on. Off. <laughs> Went through all that fucking trouble and she fucking breaks it. Let's get moving. <laughs> right. God, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Wait, can I actually. Oh, I can't see. Oh. Okay, so yeah, apparently I can use those vents. Ah, no, no, ow, god damn it. Okay, well, I'll go with nose then. Okay, we only need to potentially just stay up here. There we go, finally, we got the last uh, thing. Okay, hopefully, we don't need to have to find all the other ones to for it to work. Now we just need to get, get, get out. Now we just need to get the fuck out of here. Okay, uh, probably need a heal up. Just do that. Okay, we need to use this. Hey, there we go. Okay, thank Christ. Okay, hi there, witch. I might have a present for you. There we go, I can finally open my inventory. I have a knife for you. Who am I? Kate. Brian? Brian. <laughs> yeah, we're not drowning, we're fine. Okay, we actually got through that with that again all the parasites. I only got one of them. <laughs> Are you okay? You're close to the exit. Did you run out of air? No, I don't know. I was trapped. It's hard to explain. It was like being kept prisoner in a nightmare. Thought that that easy. I understand you better than anyone, Brian. Now you're free. The girl. What? What does this mean? Yeah, and then we're gonna go through all this again. Past the neck. Yeah, hi. Don't know if this will change, but. I stole this nonsense. You stole my dagger. No, confess to it. Go back. Come on. Put a price on it if that's what you want. I'll pay you anything. I can upgrade your whole family's class to anything past neck, but you have to give me back that dagger. Well, about that. Apologize for everything I've done to you, okay? I'll get down to my knees if I, if you like. Don't you realize that I'm the boss now? Wish will have me in a crosshairs without that dagger. Please, Ryan. No. Can't give it back to you. I don't have it anymore. 
But you can relax because I've done my job. I've dealt with the witch. What? Congratulations. Now I can terminate your contract and you'll get, get the 20,000 credit bonus. Wait. First I want you to meet a friend of mine. Yeah, we're just a couple of them. Hello Hugo, I've been looking forward to meeting you. This is Ray, Ray Sinatra, the Harris of the family. Yeah, and then, yeah, by the bylaws and yada yada. You're not gonna get in my way, yeah. How do I prove it? Yeah, this is about to get awkward. <laughs> it's all your fault, Brian. Hugo. Fucked everything up. All of it. How fucking dare you bitch slap me? Don't laugh at me. <laughs> And he just gets to fucking walk out of here. Well, <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well it's finally over. Have my dismissal letter. I can leave this madhouse and go home. Parents won't believe everything that's happened to me. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, we actually got all our friends here. Yay! Hello, Chapman. Please call me Tony. Okay, Brian. I owe you apology. It's such an asshole to you. <laughs> yeah, that's an underestimate of the oh yeah. Or understatement of the century, I should say. So today for the first time in my life I feel what it is like to be a of a lower class. Banded with the rabble, just one more nameless drone. Forced to work stupid tasks with no one to care. And that's led me to reflect. Thought that because of my status and my family, I had a place set aside for me that stood out from the rest. But I've come to realize that this is something you have to earn by yourself. And because of you, Brian. Me? Someone like you from the suburbs who has made his way to the top floors, making it clear that no one has ever given you anything. Not ever losing the, that humility you're so typical of the lower classes. Open your workmates at the, that sad party. Always talking to everyone in a good, kind way, even me, after I sold you repeatedly. You showed me that you're a great person, and that's what inspired me. Gee, I don't know what to say, Tony. Wait, look in your face. You're not gonna yell at me, are you? <laughs> are you deaf, or don't you wash your ears? I told you I've changed. Or do you want me to yell at you? Yeah, no, no, that's alright. <laughs> Okay, well, glad to see that you changed your ways. Never too late, I guess. How are you doing, Sosa? Eyes are sore. What happened at the party? I feel strange. We were attacked by the witch. So we're all dead? Am I a ghost? No, no, it's okay. I managed to end the witch's curse. Unbelievable, Pastnik. So you are a professional... So, terrorist whatever that I don't know what that word is of the highest level I was sure of it even if you denied it you looked like someone with great extra extrasensory powers if you say so by the way what happened to our office partner you go you can relax he won't bother you anymore he's been fired <laughs> is there big uh very happy about that. I could not have thought of a better punishment for him. It must have completely destroyed him. Yes, quite. Yeah. Okay, how are you doing over here, Doshi? Yeah, Doshi, you are right. Hey, dude, tell me you didn't get rid of what was in my lab. Just stopped by and she's, she's not there. The robot? I finished it. What? She's on the 10th floor right now. <laughs> and he's just right up to the 10th floor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna speak to Kate last, but... Okay. Here comes the king of the party. You drink yourself into oblivion, Parsnip. We can continue the party at my place if you want. Ah, no thanks. I've got another love interest. <laughs> no, no, no. 
Oh, but look at what a tart you are, Malone. Because I hang out with a bad company like you, I think I'll leave you two alone. Yeah. Wait, can we actually go back and... Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping I can follow Doshi. Okay, Kate. Kate, what are you doing here? It's on first date, huh? You can say that again. Here, I made you this. Oh, a cup of coffee. Oh, we can finally have that coffee day after all this time. So then, now that the day is over, we can finally have that coffee I promised you. I'm told the view from the rooftop is amazing. Uh, I'm just about to take the first train to the suburbs. I don't know if I'll have time. Oh, you're quitting your job? Yes, I have the dismissal letter right here. It's hard to explain, but let's just say I wasn't cut out for this job. It was all a mistake. Are you going to stay? I know it sounds crazy with everything that's happened, but I think it's best for me. I learned a lot today. I'm sure that tomorrow everything will be easier. That every day that passes will get better. It's going to be tough, I'm sure, but I guess that's what this is all about, isn't it? Can we still at least go to the rooftop? Sorry you had to leave, Brian. Come visit us soon. Remember, we're friends now. Please tell me you can go up to the rooftop. We can! Yes! <laughs> Yay! Coffee date! Finally! What exactly are we looking at? Oh, just a view. And there's a lot of buildings. A lot of very tall and big buildings. But yay, that was the end of that. And that was a nice little ending. So kind of hard to get to, but... It can't be any worse than some of the other endings that I need to get to, but... At least we got a decent happy ending in the end. He's amazed by it. And yay, we get to be happy at the end of the day and not be dead. Super Hugo. <laughs> Team and I got. Hey, Tadpole. My work at the company is almost done. I have everything I need to kill her. What? Come on, drink with me. It's been a rough ride up here. But you're leaving already? Promise me that if I helped you, you return the favor. Don't get mad, Tadpole. I can still help you. Now remind me what you wanted. I want her power. You want what? I want to be above everyone, to get to the top. I want to have magical powers and be able to fly free. Fly? <laughs> what are you talking about? Just like you, then. I want to be like you. You said you could grant me any wish using your voodoo magic, right? Yeah, I know, man, but... You can't leave me until you keep your promise. Take this. My magic cloak. I'm giving it to you. Magic? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I hope you get your wish. But it works slowly. It can take years and, well, you have to do your part too. And if you want to fly, you're going to have to start jumping first. You're a liar and a drunk. I don't want your dirty rag. Hey, come back here. Oh, he fucking jumped. <laughs> Splat. Well, <laughs> I 
I guess uh, he got his wish in the end. He flew, but not for long. <laughs> well, at least he still died in the end, I guess. <laughs> that was a kind of depressing end for him. Okay, for this next ending, I have to go all the way back to the start to where I need to sign the contract and say no. Yeah, with that, we then take our leave. <laughs> it's that simple. Could have left all the way back at the beginning, but... Here we go. Oh, it's me again. Uh, look, I've given it some thought and I've decided I'm not interested in the job. I don't know if I can go. <laughs> okay, then go. Oh yeah, we don't have access to any other floor. Go to floor zero. And then we should be able to just head on out of here. Should I leave without taking the job? Sure. <laughs> I think this job just isn't for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? We've already seen what this job has in store for us and <laughs> it's one hell of a job. That's <laughs> just the end. Straight up. No cutscene, no nothing. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, there's a little secret behind here. Yeah, follow a cat. Yep. Yeah, just come back here to grab a couple more VHS tapes. Because if we go up here... <laughs> yeah, this was just before we went into the cemetery. Oh wait, I see it. Right behind here. Yeah, there's the other VHS tape that should be at least the last one for now. Oh, quickly, amigo. What's going on? This episode of Miracrest is about to begin. Oh, okay. Are actually going to get a full episode or something? <laughs> Had to reach the cave before them. The ritual is interrupted. God help us all. Concerning at all. Cave is calling me. To be continued, of course. <laughs> okay, well that was interesting, but yeah, that was one of the <clears throat> other missing tapes. Wow, what an episode. Uh, since I haven't seen any of the previous ones, I didn't really understand any of that. <laughs> I don't know either, I've just seen them all. Okay, right. I didn't mean it so on the batteries. 
Okay, yeah, I'm just going through and selling some stuff. Because, uh... How many credits do I have? Got 525 now. Because I want to save up some money to get some more about the, um, number things at the bar. Okay, let's go through this. Okay, number six. Six is a number of the lie. Number that has more than it teaches. Draws your attention to something, but behind that is done nothing is doing something else. Usually related to the sneak. So there's quietly and without you noticing. But you injects you ejects its venom. Ah, it's a <laughs> sex number two. <laughs> I'm not telling you that. You're still under reach. I'm telling you I'm of age. <laughs> Just kidding, amigo. Right. Okay, let's buy another one. Okay, number five. Hive is a tight-knit team. It's a number that can either move forward or stand still. It's the patience, the logic, the rational, the balance. It's a number with hardly any magic power that works because its pieces fit perfect together perfectly. Seems like a pretty balanced number. Too much it lacks a soul. It's a function focused number. Aspect boring. Maybe that's why I like it. Pretty boring myself. Now give you a couple of shots and you go and dance on the bar with Shalpova. <laughs> no no there's no need. Right. Okay, what about number four? Four is a fake number. Hides this weakness behind a facade of security and solid solidity. It's a stationary number and it never accomplishes anything. <clears throat> it's the part between the four kings where one of them betrays the other. It's an old castle that's in ruins and has never completely collapsed. It's a limp chair and even if it holds your weight, no it will break. Do you think there's a connection to this floor? Of course, the high supports the whole company with its constant work, and yet it's rotten inside. We will it all fall apart. I have no idea, do you? It's likely to stay this way forever. <laughs> okay. Okay, what about number three? Three is a strength and action. It is an unstoppable and safe weapon that enters attacking and breaking everything in its path. It is indestructible, solid, compact and sharp. It's a triangle and it has a great magical charge. Three can achieve anything. Sounds like a pretty good number. Is it the best one yet? It's a company of the best, of course. Three has only one weakness. It's a number that suffers a lot of wear and tear, and it has a tendency to become a four. Never thought numbers could have such personality. Neither did I. Okay, let's buy another one. Okay, what about number two? We have two, Brian. It produces the worst number of all. It's an extreme sample of even numbers. Juice is pure evil. It is doubt and indecision. Number is of different paths. Two symbolizes the most profound human du duality, a diabolic mesmerism of the impossible symmetry, profound fear of the unknown. Stabbing duplicity too, Brian, is without doubt the worst number of all, is the god of evil. Two? Is it that bad? Don't be confused, two doesn't mean two things alike. They're two exactly the same things. Two is a mirror. Right. Okay, what about number one? That's the easiest one. The one is the hero of the adventure. It's the sun in the sky. It's the arrow that sticks right in the center of its target. It's unique. It's the truth without any possibility of doubt. But it's also the authority or the loneliness. Strict and unchangeable. It's the ultimate expression of odd numbers. Odd numbers? 
In this very simplified way, we can say that odd numbers are numbers with positive connotations, and that even numbers are malignant numbers. Right. And last one. Zero doesn't exist. It's the void. It's neither god, good nor bad. Neither odd nor even. It is the purgatory of numbers. It has no meaning. It is infinite. Zero is what you have lost and not realized. It's what's to come, at, but you don't know it yet. Hmm. What an abstract number. Zero is what's inside this beer mug. Before it's filled. Or after I drink it. <laughs> right. Who told you the meaning of all numbers? What do you think? Very interesting. And weird. And you say the numbers are influencing the company? You tell me, amigo. You told me you've been scouting the building, right? Do you think the numbers symbolize the floors or the people in them? It's hard to say. I guess in some cases it's possible. These times are going by numbers, and this company is at the mercy of them. I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure they play some part in all this. Right, well, that's that then. Okay, yeah, we still got a couple more to watch here, so... <gasps> Kitty! <laughs> just looks like she's just having an awesome rave. Ew. That was gross. <laughs> okay, we still have one other one to watch. Oh, I feel her presence. I didn't get enough time to read that. And that just ended abruptly. <laughs> 